So now we have the Paris Agreement, where all the countries have signed up, and now you have, going into law, the agreement in Catalonia, 2050 for net zero emissions. It means a big change. It means lots of things have to evolve and move forward. So you think you might be in charge of a hospital, you might be running a school, you might be in charge of a restaurant. You're making decisions on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you don't have any training at all about where we are in the world, where we need to be, and how we can get there, if you don't have any advice, then the decisions you make are in informed. That doesn't mean you're bad, it just means you haven't got the information to make the right decisions. So if you imagine you're making decisions running your hospital about health and safety, or about gender equity, you get training on those issues through the continuing professional development. If you were running a hospital and you've no idea what a risk assessment is, how can you manage health and safety? So those people making decisions need to be given the training to understand what climate change is, what the Paris Agreement is, what the metrics are for Catalonia, what changes need to be made, particularly the co-benefits of multi solving thinking about we've got to change X, so let's change them right. Let's change them in a way that we have cleaner air, we have better diet, we have easier to use transport, we have warmer houses, and build coalition with all the co-benefits. Yeah. But it's a simple one day training. So the you know, climate literacy trainer would go in and train maybe four people from the health centre, the health system in Barcelona. Those people are then trained, accredited, they fill in the evaluation and they get their badge. Then those people who are from the health centre then go and train other people. So the vast majority of people get the training, get peer-to-peer -peer training. People who understand difficulties of hospitals, running a hospital, dealing with emphasis on trying to cure people rather than to prevent illness and all of the other challenges that come with it. It's easier to learn from somebody who's in the same boat as you. So then that rolls out. Within two years, you could have thousands of people who've had basic carbon literacy who then make their decisions in a more informed way. The training program has to be approved by the city council or by hospitals or by the people who are making sure it's unbiased, it's solutions focused. It's not going to, at the end of the day, make you just hold your head and go, oh my goodness, it's all so terrible. It's about how we actually overcome the barriers and real life examples of projects in cities and other countries that are, that are further down the path. So by showing positive solutions, you can empower people to feel ready to make those decisions differently in their own way. Individual citizens can be done by the but they might have to pay. But if you're in any sort of managerial role or dealing with patient care, then it's part of your continuing professional development. It's part of the workplace training program, which exists in the world. And we're only talking about one day in your entire working life to give you the tools to make decisions differently so that decisions you make are in keeping with what is going to be the law in your Barcelona. And it's change in culture. Just as we see changes in culture about race, class, gender, gay rights, we see changes in culture about doing things right for the planet too.